Hi, it's Greg Hurrell here with another Vim screencast. And tonight I just want to talk about a neat little function that just got merged into the NeoVim master branch, um, which as you can see, does one thing, and that is it highlights text that you yank. Um, and if you've used the Vim highlighted yank plugin, uh, you now no longer need to, as long as you're using NeoVim's master branch, because you can do the same thing with stuff that comes built into NeoVim. I can hear a motorbike, so I'm gonna stop talking. So let's take a look at what this thing actually does. Uh, so I'm gonna show you where I invoke this function. So from an auto command, basically whenever I yank text, I'm gonna call this function um, and I'll show you what it does by yanking some text right now. So if I do YW to yank a word, you'll see that that flashed. Um, if I do Y dollars to yank to the end of the line, you'll see that it highlighted to the end of the line. Why Y to yank a line? Uh, let's say I wanna yank five lines down, so yank 5J, um, just say I wanna yank the whole file, percent yank. Um, basically whatever I yank is going to get flashed like that. Um, and you can confirm, uh, customize this. So for example, I'm setting it to show that highlight for 200 milliseconds. Uh, the default is I think half a second, which to me felt a little bit too sluggish. Um, you can also uh, customize the highlight group that's used. I'm using substitute because it seems to stand out pretty nicely with uh, my color scheme. Um, and so that's all there is to it. Um, now, why is this useful? Well, for me, it's incredibly useful to battle a bad habit that I've formed over the years, which is that because I might make a mistake when I yank a motion, I often end up going to visual mode first just so that I can preview the, uh, the motion or the effect of the yank. So for example, just say I wanted to yank these three lines, I would do shift V to go into visual line mode and I would hit down twice or I would do 2J. And then when I could see that it was the right region, then I'd yank. And obviously that sucks a little bit because it's a manual step. Um, whereas now I can just do Y2J and just say I get it wrong, like just say I accidentally hit Y3J, I'll see it right away. Um, and I can refrain from pasting and messing things up. Um, so this to me is kind of a bit like Gmail's undo send feature where you can send a little bit more fearlessly because you know that just say you make a mistake, you can always undo the send um, within the, the few seconds following the action that you took. So I think this could be a real game changer. Maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but I think it can really help speed up my use of Vim. So that's why I'm pretty excited about it. Now there is one gotcha, and that is that the use of this highlight doesn't play well with the indent line plugin. So I'm gonna show you uh, my recent Git history here. You'll see that uh, here last night, I set up this text yank post auto command and then the very next thing I did was remove indent line plugin. So I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna check out that rev with indent line and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so let's go back to where I was. Um, so indent line draws these vertical markers here um, and in a VimScript file that uses a two space indent, like indent line isn't even that helpful, um, but it is Definitely more interesting, I think, uh, with files that use like a four space indent. So for example, if I go over to this, uh, where is it? If I go to a file like this one where I use a four space indent, um, I actually do find that the indent line marker is pretty useful. The problem is that it uses Vim's conceal feature to draw text in the buffer that isn't actually there. So uh, for example, if I do YY to yank this line, you'll see that the concealed regions did not get the highlighting. So it just looks ugly. Um, and sure, it's only there for 200 milliseconds, but it's still ugly enough that I figure I would rather just not have indent line. Because at the end of the day, indent line is mostly cosmetic. Uh, and the truth is I lived perfectly well without these lines for many years of using Vim. And I think that the, uh, the annoying ugliness of indent line in this use case is more than the convenience that I get out of it. There's one thing that I wanted to do just to satisfy my own curiosity. Um, I want to see when I started using uh, indent line for the first time. And we'll see, never apparently, really. Uh, give indent line plugin a try in 2017. So I used Vim for something like eight years or so before. Uh, I, I, yeah, before, uh, <laughs> starting to use indent line. So yeah, it's fine. 
it was fun while it lasted. And maybe one day the indent line functionality will be baked into Vim itself, which would be nice. And so uh, I did a little bit of searching just to see how long this has been an issue. But uh, here's a question from nearly six years ago, um, pointing out how conceal messes other highlight groups. And unfortunately, there's no real way around it. Um, if you search, you'll find a bunch of issues like this in various places. So we're kind of stuck with it. So what did I do? I uh, got rid of indent line. And I'm going to delete the submodule again. And so that means, for example, in that file that I was looking at before, um, we don't have those lovely lines anymore. It's not such a big deal in uh, repos that use tabs. So for example, I've got one, I think here, just like ra semi-randomly picking a file. So this file has tabs. Um, it'd be nice if they were four space tabs to make it stand out better. What is it? Tab stop, tab stop equals four. So, you know, in a file with tabs, you don't really need the indent line plugin. And I work at a company that uses tabs. So most of the time I will be seeing tabs. So uh, that is text yank post and this little Lua function. I think that's all I wanted to say about that. Let me just pause for a minute while I think. Anyway, that's all I got to say on this topic. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.